I keep seeing videos on YouTube and they're always these life hack videos and they're just nonsense. They are how to remove a scratch from a car using a rubber, how to remove a screw with a rubber band and the fact is they just don't work. So today we're going to look at a method that does actually work and will actually remove a stripped screw for you. These are the cheapest left-handed drill bits on eBay. They were $5.99 for four bits. Left-hand spiral center drills, fully ground bits, high-speed steel, and they've got a 60-degree point. Made by a company called Winlow Tools. I've never heard of them personally, but perhaps someone else has. And as I said, you get four in the pack, ranging from... I would say that's around the four mil mark, maybe six, eight, ten, maybe that's twelve. I'll take a look, I'll stick a stick a measure on it. So what I keep seeing on YouTube and videos that get millions of views are people removing screws that are not in tight, they're not even rounded off, and they remove them with a rubber band. And that gets a million views and everybody thinks that's brilliant. But as soon as you need to do it, you find out that doesn't actually work. It's not a proper method to remove screws. So I don't think there's any argument that that's a rounded off screw. That is a properly rounded off screw. Not one that you'll see on one of these viral videos. So if we can remove that screw, I think we've done a good job. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go for probably the largest one. Because my theory is... If the actual tip of the drill bit grabs it, it should undo the screw without having to get down to the shoulder. As you can see, there should be plenty there. But what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to clean up this section with just a normal drill bit. Because these drill bits, as I said, a couple of pounds each. Normal drill bit is pennies. So I'm just going to use a right-handed drill bit just to clean up that section first. So we're still on the same screw. I've just changed the angle a bit to make it easy to see. As you can see there, that's just starting to bite. So rather than destroy the tip of this bit, I've gone in there with the smaller bit about the same size as the tip. And I'm just letting it bite because I think these have actually got a small taper to them. I don't know if you can see it, but they tapered in a way so that they lock up. Well, what we could do is even try the next size up. But we're not quite there on the shoulder yet so i'm going to try the bigger one first and if that gets out that's good we've got the drill in reverse here i've got nice and short on the on the bit because i don't want it to wobble at all i'm going to go nice and low speed but the drill's on full torque and it should lock up fairly quickly as you can see there we're taking that screw out no problem at all And we'll just put the drill into what we would normally call forwards, but it's not, it's reverse. And it just works its way out, as you can see. And because, because we drilled that pilot hole, the tip is still as good as it was when we got it. So there's one idea on how to remove a properly stripped screw. No rubber bands here or any of those methods that you see. A proper way to do it and you'll get good results every time. I'm also going to look at some other methods of what we can do for stripped out screws, stripped out fixings, that sort of thing, rounded off heads in further videos. So like and subscribe this video and you'll get to see more. Next time we'll use something like a, a stud extractor or we'll look at 
a bolt that's sheared off below the surface. 